I'm Michael Webster, Senior Solutions and Performance Engineer for Nutanix in the Global R&D team and VMware Certified Design Expert number 66. In this video I will demonstrate the robustness and performance of the Nutanix platform for enterprise applications. I am using Benchmark Factory for databases to generate a TPCC-like workload against a three-node Oracle Rack 12C database on a mid-range Nutanix 3450 platform. This slide shows the setup of my lab environment. Database sessions will use the Oracle single cluster access name virtual IP address to access all of the nodes in the cluster. While the environment is under heavy load, all of the Oracle Rack virtual machines will be migrated to different hosts all at the same time. You can see in the screen that the, uh, the Nutanix environment is already under quite a lot of heavy load, almost 10,000 IOPS, and uh, the latency is very good at around 6 milliseconds. This is the back end view um, from the cluster itself and you can see that we've got compression enabled in line and we're actually compressing the data at the same time. This is the view of the networking within the vCenter client and the network throughput at this stage without the vMotions running is approximately 180 megabytes per second. The Benchmark Factory for Databases uh, client is running with 200 virtual users and you can see that we're going through, it's doing you know, around about 500 uh, odd transactions per second at about 300 milliseconds latency. So you can see here with that we're at 100% uh, CPU utilization on the host. Each of the Oracle Rack nodes is uh, configured with 112 gigs of memory and we're using 50 active at the moment. And we're using approximately 195 watts of power uh, for this host. Each of the Oracle Rack VMs has got eight virtual CPUs configured. So we've got a script that's going to run and it's going to generate the, uh, the vMotion events. We can see that we're in a st steady state, doing a high number of transactions um, with a reasonable response time. During the vMotion, we would expect that the um, response time will degrade um, during the vMotion itself and then recover to a steady state immediately afterwards. And you can see that two uh, vMotion operations have kicked off, the third one is now kicked off. And we've got a little spike in response time during the initial part of the migrations. The important thing to watch is for any errors or disconnects in the test because that would have impacted user traffic. The objective of the test is to be able to do the vMotions um, you know, with the platform under extreme load and not have any errors or user disconnections. So you can see the network here is um, doing almost 30 gigabits per second in throughput as we're going through and doing the vMotion operation, copying the uh, pages of memory between the different hosts. The reason we use vMotion during this video is that even when the database is under extreme load and doing 100% CPU utilization. It shows that you can still manage the environment and there's no disruption or disconnection of user sessions and the applications will continue to function. Okay, so we've completed one vMotion operation now and it took uh, just over one minute and 40 seconds. For that to complete and the other two are almost completed there we go the other two are completed in uh, just on two minutes um, to complete the entire operation so that's migrating all three of the oracle rack nodes to different hosts all at the same time and you can see that the um, degradation in response times for the database 
which would have uh, only impacted a very uh, small number of the virtual users. Uh, we're not expecting that you would run your environments at 100% utilization all the time in production, which is what this test is showing. And we've had no errors and we've had no user disconnections at all during this process. Now what we're going to do is migrate all of those virtual machines back to the original hosts that they're on all at the same time and also demonstrate that there's no user impact um, in terms of disconnected sessions. Um, there's only slight degradation in response times during the test. Overall average, we're still doing a high transaction rate and the, uh, the response time in average is also the same. You can also see that our latency is still very good, around the 5 millisecond mark, and we're still doing thousands of IOPS on the storage. Quickly after the vMotion completes, the transaction rate response times returns to the steady state again. Okay, hosts, you can see during the period of the vMotion operation, the CPU utilization dipped, and then it went back up to 100% utilization after the vMotion operation had been completed. Now we're migrating those VMs back again. You can also see the dip in IOPS during the migration events. Okay, and our migrations back have been completed. And again, we're just on the two minute mark, just below two minutes to migrate the three Oracle Rack nodes. And you can see that there's no errors, no user disconnections at all, even though the system's under extreme load, the hosts are running at 100% CPU utilization, and the virtual machines are running at 100% CPU utilization, um, servicing you know, uh, hundreds of transactions per second at low response times. And we're back into a steady state now that the vMotions have completed. CPUs back at 100% utilization. And this is one of our Oracle Rack nodes. You can see the, the amount of memory it's using. It's currently consuming 100% CPU. And about 18 megabytes per second of throughput for the, the actual database server itself including the uh, cluster interconnect for the, data, the Oracle Rack system. The latency is still very good, and the IOPS is still very good. And we're in a complete steady state in terms of um, benchmark factory tests. So our second Oracle Rack node, and similar to the first, it's 100% CPU utilization. And it's our third Oracle Rack node, which is also at 100% CPU utilization. So you can see from this test that even under extreme loads, the Nutanix platform is suitable for any enterprise workload, and you can start at any scale. This video has demonstrated the performance capabilities and robustness and reliability of a mid-range Nutanix platform and what can be achieved from two rack units with the Nutanix 3450, which contains four nodes, each with 16 CPU cores and 256 gigs of memory. The power consumption during this test was less than 1,000 watts at all times.